up my dogs? It's Simon here. Welcome back to the uh, Hermit's Cave. I hope you're having a lovely weekend. If you're in the UK, then it's an extra long weekend again because it's it's May Day on Monday, um, or known to a lot of people here in the community as Beltane or Beltana, however you uh, however you pronounce it. But May, the first Monday in May is always a bank holiday celebration, so an extra day off. So it's really nice we've got a three-day weekend. And it was only two weekends ago that we had a four-day weekend because we had um, our uh, Easter um, holidays in the UK. And Easter f fell a lot later this year than Ostara, so just in case there's any confusion there. So you'll have seen from the title, I'm coming on today to have a look at the Hummingbird Wisdom. Now, this is a, um, oh, and it's uh, it's Yasmeen Westwood who does the, oh gosh, what's that deck? Enchanted, actually, I think it's in the Red Feather um, catalogue. I might be further back. Oh, here we are. I'm on it. Yasmin Westwood, Tarot the Enchanted Soul. Yeah, so um, I, I love her artwork. It's beautiful. Now, I don't very often, uh, because I review for Shiffa, Red Feather, I don't very often select Oracle decks. Um, as you know, you know, I'm more about Tarot. I do use Oracle decks, namely this one here I'm working with at the moment as well. Um, but in the main, you know, Tarot is my my jive it's what uh, it's what i like to work with but every so often there is a beautiful beautiful um oracle deck or set of decks particularly thinking of uh wendy andrews decks at the moment you know goddess law of goddess power I, I love them and i work with them quite a bit so i saw that yasmine westwood had um the hummingbird wisdom out um well it's ellen valandes Valadez, maybe I'm butchering that, uh, but the illustrations is by Yasmin Westwood and that's it for me. Um, it says Oracle Cards, as you can see here, it's nicely presented, so let's take a look. Um, where are the scissors? So this came this morning, I just got back from a walk with a friend, we've gone walking along the canal. Um, did about 13,000 steps today and um, just called and got a bit of food shopping and just got home and there was a knock at the door and I'm expecting a deck that I'd ordered from Germany but it was the beginning of the week but sometimes uh, post in Europe can only take three or four days so I thought oh it'll be that but it wasn't but I wasn't disappointed I was equally excited because this is something off the list um, that I um, said I would review so I love the packaging. One thing to say about uh, Schiffer Red Feather is their packaging is always, always really nice. So on the back it says, the way of the hummingbird is a path, one of lightness and joy, and one of power and strength. These oracle cards are filled with inspiration and guidance to help you connect to your divinity. Explore the seen and unseen and embrace your unique epic journey in this lifetime. You are meant to live a life filled with blessings and the hummingbird offers its magical, gentle wisdom to guide you there. In this easy to use deck, you'll be immersed into the fun, mystical world of the hummingbird with 44 exquisitely designed cards and a detailed guidebook with, expand, with expanded messages, affirmations and exercises to embrace and deepen your personal growth. Spread your wings and embark on a delightful, nectar-filled light flight. Sorry, the font is actually, the yellow on black for me is really difficult to, to read. Nectar-filled flight towards living a more conscious life filled with sweetness and joy um, and it says that it retails at 24.99 but that's dollars so probably 
around 20 pounds maybe in in sterling so as you can see on the it, it's got a nice spine for displaying hummingbird wisdom oracle cards and we've got the uh red feather logo there and it opens it opens like a book with this magnetic closure uh we've got the book here look how beautiful these images are i like the contrast of the purple and the green as well it's really nice so they're not gilded um but it's a lovely compact box we get this ribbon which i always find really really helpful for getting cards in and out really sturdy we have to do the obligatory knock <laughs> but yeah really really sturdy compact card uh, box and then we have the book here so oh, it's gorgeous really gorgeous let's see how many pages we've got so it's 112 pages it looks like we get a page for each of the cards bird's eye view so you get um, some keywords so bird's eye view and then you get the hummingbird wisdom which is um i guess key phrases or more keywords fly high and observe from above here you'll find new perspective greater understanding and compassion and then we get a couple of paragraphs um a write-up about the cards and then an affirmation so that's quite nice bird bath I think what really drew me in was just how vibrant the images were. Just really, really beautiful. And again, if you follow um, Yasmin's work, then you kind of know what you're getting. And I like that, you know, as you come more into buying decks, whether it's from tarot creators or oracle creators, if you're anything like me, then you buy, case in point, <laughs> the last video I put up, was um the illustrated these these cards here the illustrated um triumphi della luna because i really invest in patrick valenza and his artwork he never fails to disappoint if when wendy andrews brings out you know another oracle deck you bet i'll be i'll be there getting it um because you kind of know what you're getting um similarly there you know i'm not going to name when I'm saying something negative, but you know, there's certain creators where I've got one or maybe two of their decks and they tend to be a little bit samey. So I think that I've, I've got my fill. Um, but anyway, I'm going down a rabbit hole, aren't I? So you get spreads as well, as you can see here, five card spread, four card spread. So it's really nicely set out. Let's have a look at, is there a contents page? Yeah, so you can see here. So welcome to the Hummingbird Wisdom Oracle, playing with Hummingbird Magic, a quick note about angels, how to use the Hummingbird Wisdom Oracle cards, and then Hummingbird Wisdom Oracle messages. And then as you can see here, that's page 20. So that's where it started with a gentle touch. And then you've got all of the uh, 44 cards laid out here. So it's a nice quick reference. And then Hummingbird Medicine and about the author and illustrator. Hummingbird Medicine sounds quite interesting. Many of the Hummingbird Wisdom cards offer tips and tools meant to assist you in your personal and spiritual growth. If you're interested in uh, diving deeper and opening to more clarity and joy, the following exercises and practices are designed to help. Have fun connecting with the hummingbird magic as you continue on your own epic journey. So we've got meditation. Um, we've got about appreciating ourselves, going outside, and I can highly recommend that. I never, never hesitate, you know, when my alarm goes off on a Saturday or Sunday morning at 5 a.m. Because I know, particularly this time of year, although we do it in winter as well, it's an opportunity I live in the city, so it's an opportunity to get out of the city, walk where there's grass or rivers or canals, and just uh, just connect with nature. I love it. And it's a real good start to the day as well. Uh, intuition and then celebrating. So nice little guidebook. 
So we have the cards. Um, they're a decent size, probably around the size of Shimmering Veil. Let's take a look. That's it to hand. Shimmering Veil. Um, just a little bit bigger and wider than the Shimmering Veil um, Tarot. Compared to a, um, a standard tarot size, you'll see here. So they are a kind of a, a typical oracle size, really. Cardstock is really nice. Oh, really nice. They do have a, a gloss to them. It's not a heavy, thick set gloss, but they are glossy. They don't feel like they're stuck together at all. No, they're gliding around beautifully. Um, they are borderless, as you can see. And we have the title at the top, A Gentle Touch. And then also we have um, a, a key phrase, a little meaning here. And then of course you can go into the book to expand on that. The backs are beautiful. Look at these, aren't they stunning? Really beautiful backs. Looks like they're fully reversible. No, not quite because the position of the stars with the leaves. But do you, do you know what? If that was that way up, I wouldn't automatically know that they're uh, not reversed or they are reversed. So pretty much, you know, symmetrical. All right, let's um, let's bring the camera down and we will have a flip through and uh, stay tuned for my thoughts at the end.
Okay. So first impressions, they're, they're, they're exquisitely beautiful, you know, just as I thought they would be. I'd seen a few uh, images from the Red Feather catalogue for spring and summer. And, you know, this is a beautiful spring summer deck. Um, they do tend to be more on the side of light, you know, love, joy, light. Um, but there are there are some cards in here that do have that balance, you know, time to let go, time to move on, and that sort of thing. So it's not it's not a deck of affirmations, um, although there is some very sort of empowering and positive um, key messages in here. I think the artwork is exquisite. I mean, look at this card. It's like a, a beautiful uh, Victorian garden. It's just so intricate. Uh, with tiny little details. Um, these are cards that you can really sit with. Your broken wings are mending. Relax and know that you are receiving a miraculous gift of healing. And that's quite comforting, isn't it? You know, if we do feel a little bit bruised and, and battered. Um, the storm has passed, you know, so it's not, it's not shying away from the fact that we do have those times in our lives where things can be a little bit difficult, a little bit challenging, but it's about giving you that kind of pep talk and that, you know, recognising your own kind of abilities and strengths to be able to weather the storm. But, oh, just look. Every card that I turned over, I was like, oh, wow, it's just so, so beautiful. Fly with faith. Trust your sturdy wings and know that the universe is working its magic on your behalf. And again, you know, sometimes I, I do wince at those kind of statements. The, it's working on, I, I think, you know, you have to put the work in as well. The universe, um, you know, responds, or the universe operates, I should say, irrespective of our kind of, um, our actions to a degree but i as a as a buddhist um and i still am a buddhist even though i follow a pagan path we believe very much about cause and effect you know and you have to put your life in rhythm with the universe because the universe is operating anyway you know um so we have to we have to connect we have to put our life in rhythm uh with the universe rather than sitting back and thinking well the universe will take care of everything because, you know, that's not the case, in my opinion. We, we have to put the work in. Join the dance of romance that is swirling around you. Open your wings and let love in. That's such a beautiful card. I saw that with the little beaks and I thought, that's so much a, a lover's card, isn't it? Hearts are flutter. So, yeah, I just think it's really, really beautiful. I think it'll be nice to pull one of these cards a day and pop it on a sacred space and just take the little uh the little mantra with you um throughout your day or journal about it that's gorgeous that's like a little hermit hummingbird um a tiny criticism is the font because and i i like the fact that you know we do have this kind of scroll at the top for the title of the card but a lot of the cards i really struggle to read um some of the messages on busier parts of the card and you know i have friends who have uh, sight impairments and this would be very challenging you know sometimes i even have to get out my my trusty magnifying glass to be able to read uh when when this happens so it's just something to be uh, aware of that look at that with this little hair ah be still and listen. So important. How many of us walk around with AirPods in our ears or headphones on and there's beautiful sounds of nature all around us, but we block it out, don't we? So I just think this is beautiful. This made me chuckle. The the bird with the hum uh, with the hummingbird. The bird with the uh, little tutu on, moon dance. Listen to the rhythm and sway along with the heartbeat of the universe. That's exactly what I was saying. Yeah, we have to we have to listen to the rhythm and align ourselves to that rhythm. You know which way to fly. 
just gorgeous really really gorgeous this one is lovely reflecting pond celebrate the true beauty and light that lies within you and others you just have to find it sometimes it sometimes can be really challenging um to see the light in other people especially when other people do such um or commit such atrocities it's it's really it's really struggle it's such a struggle this is just beautiful when i saw this i gasped let go let go let go and lighten your load then sail freely through the open door to inner peace yes gorgeous really really beautiful deck so that's hummingbird wisdom um it was sent to me by red feather for the purpose of review i can't find the box now where did i where did i put the box for it oh over here gosh so yeah so it's by ellen valandiers and the illustrations is by yasmin westwood so gorgeous 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 thank you for watching everybody is it a deck that you've been waiting for i think it's had a bit of a delay with being shipped out um but it's here now and yeah i'm i'm glad to be a recipient of it so let me know your thoughts in the comments below and until next time go in peace namaste and blessed be